Well, they haven't told me the level of exposure yet, but it is something that everybody should be concerned about. We're working on it hard, figure out what we do and what uh, vaccine, if any, may be available for it. But it is a concern in the sense that if it were to spread, it's consequential. That's all they've. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me his truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, back with another lesson. Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit. Rakak with Dash, Lord willing to edifying. Straight to the point. Now, you already know in the news, um, there's new pestilence or so called new pestilence that's now making headlines the monkey pox. And, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. Interesting enough, you know, that, um, what was it, months ago, four months ago, five months ago? You had this situation. Uh, where is it at? Right here. I know everybody remember when, when this happened. About those monkeys. Those monkeys that crashed. Or the monkeys that was in a, a lab carrier. All right. A truck. It was in a truck hauling uh, uh, monkeys. A hundred of them. And they escaped. Due to the crash and the incident. And they carried the story on. For a period of time, months, uh, not months, weeks, days, weeks, if that. And we said, you know, we we said through the spirit, you know, when we reported on it, that something may come from it. And I'm not sure if they connecting. I'm not sure if they connecting the, this, this monkey pox to that incident. But, you know, you know, ironically enough, so to speak, that this is the new pestilence that they're concerned about and they're they're warning and blowing a trumpet to the american people about all right and these are some headlines right here it says from the fox news biden on monkeypox outbreaks should concern everybody as health experts are baffled biden says monkeypox cases something to be concerned about biden on monkeypox everybody should be concerned about spread etc 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 blah 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 blah, blah. All right. Now, you know, we'll see what what comes out of this or if they, of course, you know, which I believe that they'll probably use this as 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 a scapegoat or, or another cover up to a major pestilence that's about to unfold due to the people that participate in shooting the J or however it may play out. But nonetheless, this is just something to look out for. You know, as, as brothers and a few sisters already know about this. Um, you know, nothing is done by coincidence. Everything is done by design. And fear is the greatest motivator. All right. So, let me get a couple scriptures. In 2nd Edge 16 and 5, it says, Plagues are sent unto you. And what is he that may drive them away? May any man... Drive away an hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in a stubble when it hath began to burn? May one turn again the strong arrow that is shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? If fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quencheth? Or quench it? He shall, ca he shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder and who shall not be afraid. The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. The earth quaketh and the foundation thereof and the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep. And the waves of it are terrible and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that beneath the bow and his arrows that shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to shoot. Or to be shot into the ends of the world, which this is talking about the destruction, the ICBM missiles. All right. The scriptures refer to the ICBM, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, as arrows and bows and the mighty archer. 
it referred to the Lord's technology as ancient terminologies as bow and arrows. All right, because a, a typical bow and arrow could not be shot from one end of the world to the next, but an ICBM can do that. Hence the, ter hence the term intercontinent from one continent to the next. And it says, Behold, plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. So ultimately, Yahweh Bashim is sending plagues. All right, and he said, Yahweh Shah said, Before he come, there's going to be famines, earthquakes, pestilence. All right, before he comes. So we are literally living in a time of the famines, the plagues, pestilence, the uproars of the people, the earthquakes. You know, so a few ma few major prophecies are left to come. You know, such as being betrayed, being um cast into the prisons or brought before the judges. All right, the mass implementation of the MO to the T busy. You know, which you should already know that's the Revelation the thirteenth chapter, verse sixteen on down. All right. The three six mafia, however you want to call it. You know, we call it the these terms. Due to YouTube censorship and the famine of the word that's fastly approaching. So we definitely in the times where, where the Lord said he was going to get ready to come back. So I'll read on. It says, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returned not backward. Even so, the plagues that shall be set upon the earth shall not return again. And the ultimate plague is the ICBM. All right. But prior to that, the scriptures say, like in Luke, the Lord is coming to send a fire. And what will he be if it already be kindled? So he's kindling the fire. In other words, starting the fire. The fire's already started. It says, woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and of great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when his evil shall come? And we are here, all right? We are we are at the doors of all hell getting ready to break loose. People mourning, all right? Uh, dying because of famine, the great death, st mass starvation, sicknesses, illnesses. And the, you, people are going to see and realize how much of a devil and a mad scientist Esau Edom really is, all right? Because he's desperate to bring forth that agenda. And nobody, uh, you know, according to his eyes, nobody is going to stand his way. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, is going to be the one to throw that monkey wrench in his plans, pursuing a Job the 20th chapter when he's about to fill his belly. So behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a moment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of scourges. So Jake, Jake, Especially Israelites are not going to repent, be mindful of the, the turmoil that's going on, the things that are taking place. So that's why the Lord is going to ultimately just do away with two thirds. All right. And have them come back as, as newborn babes in the kingdom. OK. Because why? They're not going to be mindful of the scourges, such as the plagues, the famine, the tribulation, the anguish. You know. And I ended on this verse, Behold, victory shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. So all these things are coming. All right, pestilence is one of the big ones that are coming. We've seen and hearing about the famine. We've been seeing and hearing about the, um, about the pestilence. Now, with them two combined, you have a recipe for disaster. You have uh, the perfect opportunity for the great, the great, the grand reset. Okay, with hyperinflation looming in the background, or, or inflation, I should say, and shortages, got a recipe for disaster. So you know, I just wanted to bring this article out real quick. Actually, let me end it on this one. Um, what is it? Second Corinthians two and eleven. It says, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, so least Satan get an advantage of, of us, 
And do, uh, the us is talking about those that are watching. All right, those that are being guided by the light of Yahweh Bashim Shah, those that are diligently standing upon their watch, the prophets, the men of the Lord, Satan is not going to get an advantage of the men of the Lord. Why? Because we are not ignorant of his devices. And the scriptures say that in um, Amos, the third chapter, in verse 7, that the Lord revealeth his secret to the servants, the prophets. So we know the, the agenda behind what Esau is doing. We know. So everything he does, we question it. All right, anything Esau does or say or do, whatever, we question it and we see where it lines up and fall in with, pro with, with prophecies. So, you know, hey, the Lord's definitely getting ready to come back. He's making his moves. And 2022, the year of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua turning up, the Lord's going to turn up on all levels. Mass death, destruction, confusion, famine, plagues, pestilence. Even on the right-hand side, you know, the men of the Lord are going to get turned up or are being turned up. Okay? Spiritually, the faith, everything. So, Lord willing, this is quick, edifying, straight to the point. Until next time I say, shallow one to the elect. Shallow one.